Well, I have the distinct privilege of introducing our speaker for this morning, Bishop-elect Edward Kenneth Martin. Yes. And I want to take a moment to just brag a little bit about Bishop Kenny, if that's okay. So first of all, Bishop Kenny and Estelle are my neighbors. They both planted a church in San Bernardino, California called Kingdom Cathedral. And what I love about Bishop Kenny and Estelle is that they see people wherever they go, and they love God. Like they are an, a walking example of a holy couple who loves God and loves others wherever they go. And they are one of the most best-dressed couples I've ever seen in my life. I'm not talking about just that general conference. See, I'm their neighbor. I've seen them when they're feeding homeless people on the streets of San Bernardino. They look like they're dressed to, to meet Jesus at any moment. But what I appreciate the most about Bishop Kenny is the unique prophetic mantle that God has placed on him. It is powerful. It is so powerful that as Bishop Kenny begins to preach, instantly wrinkles will fall off your face. I'm talking spiritual facelift. So I hope you're ready for a treat. So buckle in, put on those seatbelts, and help me welcome Bishop-elect Kenny Martin. Well, put your, put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on and magnify the Lord with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's magnify the Lord, come on. Put your hands together for Jesus. We come to, it's about you, not about me, it's about you, come on. Come on, come on, come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. It's leaking already. <laughs> Paul said, Paul said, y'all got to sit down. Paul, Paul, Paul said, yet we have 10,000 instructors, but not many fathers. 10,000 instructors, but not many fathers. Uh, we need to raise up spiritual fathers, spiritual mothers, spiritual uncles, spiritual aunts. Uh, this is Alicia. She just graduated from Oakdale Christian Academy. Come on. Um, she calls me Uncle Kenny. And I, got, I, got, I got more out there. <laughs> And uh, I asked her to pray for us, pray for the church. She'll pray in uh, probably three languages, not to show off, because, but because she has a global call. And we have to raise up the next generation that will touch nations. So will you pray over us? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to lift your name on high this morning. Thank you for your awesome presence and your spirit that you've poured on us so that we may rise up and shout your name every morning so that we may rise up and sing of your glory all the time, so that we may rise up and testify of what a God you are, Lord. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Glory be to your name on high. Thank you for starting a work in this community. Thank you for the free Methodist Church. Thank you, Lord, for how you've been carrying on this mission all over the world. Thank you, God, for those great work that you've been doing. Be a 
ti koko ekple bubu kata to na wa peto ha pe no le wo do gaga sike no wo le nya do mi to de si a de pagbeta ha pe no la be na wo ma no me la cho ti ala na de ke wa nye wo ma no me la mi mate no agbele ga popo si amo we nye ga we wo nu si anu e we le la ga we ke le cho ti a si a pagbe me le conference a be ga popo si a ya mi e pe o gbogbo la po gbogbo la ne va ne Bagbonya di la mo pagbama, po bobola ne va ne banagbe nu kuku, po bobola ne va de bagbolo. Mi so i de wonti koko la me, que tu nous restaures avec ton esprit, que tu nous remplis de ton esprit, que ton esprit, ô oh Seigneur, soit notre partage. Que lorsque nous finirons cette conférence, que lorsque nous irons chez nous à la maison, que nos sœurs, que nos frères que nos amis, que tout le monde puisse voir ta grandeur dans notre vie et qu'il puisse, Père, crier et dire que seul Dieu est capable de faire ce miracle. Que les églises, Père, se réveillent, que ton esprit, Père, manifeste dans leur esprit et leur dise et reflète et témoigne vraiment que nous sommes enfants de Dieu. Éternel, à toi la gloire, à toi la louange, à toi l'adoration, au siècle des siècles, dans le nom précieux de ton Fils Jésus, nous avons prié et reçu. Amen. Amen. Come on. Merci d'autres. We must raise up the next generation to speak multiple languages so they can touch nations. Father, even now, pour me out as a drink offering for your glory. And all God's people said, Amen. God is calling us to ignite a spirit-fueled movement. Uh, I'm not really going to preach. Uh, my assignment is for us to pray together. I do want to give you a few scriptures as we talk about God is calling us God is calling us to ignite a spirit fuel movement. So let's begin with 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26 to 31. I'll spend most of my time uh, praying. That's what we're going to do, praying. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 26 to 31. Uh, this is a scripture that God has placed in my spirit when I first got, got this call. Glory only in the Lord. For you see your calling, brethren, family, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. There it is. But God has chosen the foolish things. I was foolish. And God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things. Yes, I was weak. The weak things and, and the base things, the low things of the world. And the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are. That no flesh, there it is, underline that no flesh shall glory in his presence. But don't start still. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's too early. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Can you see your calling? It's personal. Turn to somebody and say, it's personal. It's personal. Can you see your calling? The scripture I am reading to you are those that God spoke to me about uh, my calling to ministry. Can I go deeper? When I accepted the Lord, it wasn't in the church. It was, it was in a basement. Uh, it was in a, in a program. And, and when I was uh, on my knees in the basement uh, of this ministry house, God showed me, he showed me a famine land. He, 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 uh, he showed me a pregnant woman, uh, a, a pregnant woman, and, and she had a, a, a needle in her arm, and she was shooting dope in it. 
when I first got saved, that's what God showed me. And then he said, Kenny, my body, the body of Christ uh, is divided. And I said, God, I'll go. Send me. And he took me to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 1 through 5. Christ crucified. And I, brethren, I, family, when I, somebody say I, when I came to you, did not come with the excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. There again. I, I, I was with you in weakness and fear and much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. That your faith should stand in the power of God. That was my, my, my first message that I ever preached. That your faith should stand in the power of God. From this word to me, I began to soak in the word. I soaked in the word, and it took me to Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 and 17. And let's take a deeper look at our calling, for this calling was not just about me, but it's about us. The responsibility of a prophet, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 and 17. Moreover, he said to me, son of man, eat what you find. Eat this scroll, eat this word, and go speak to the house of Israel. Go and speak to the free Methodist church. <laughs> the son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Egypt. Israel, a watchman for the free Methodist church. Therefore, hear, my, hear a word from my mouth and give them a warning from me. God is not playing. From these scriptures, God was preparing me, and now he's preparing us for this Kairos moment, for this moment in time. It's a defining moment, a moment to ignite a spirit-fueled movement. We must see, we must see and consume this word and know that this is a prophetic word. This word is for us, for us to receive. It begins with a warning. It begins with a warning for judgment begins in the house of God. The watchman watches the word of the Lord for his instruction for the church, the body of Christ, to repent. <laughs> Uh, the purpose is for restoration that brings revival, that brings renewal for revival. The Holy Spirit will tell you and show you what to say and what to do. Let's go deeper. Turn to somebody and say, let's go deeper. Acts chapter 14, verse 21 through 23, strengthening the converts. And when they had preached the gospel to that city, they made, there it is, many disciples. They returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith and saving. We must, through many tribulations, that's got to be a typo, that can't be right. <laughs> we, 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 we must, we must, through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of God. So when they had, they, they, they had pointed elders in every church and prayed with fasting, they, somebody say they, they commended them to the Lord in whom they had believed. I'm going to close because my assignment really is for us to pray. He's given me specific instructions. It says in, in, in Philippians chapter 3, verses 10 through 17, it says, pressing toward the goal, here it is, that I, that's looking for that, it's personal, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, uh, the, the fellowship of his suffering, and being conformed to his death, if by any means, there's that word again, I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. No, I, I love to preach. I can preach on the power of the resurrection. I mean, I love to preach. The power! I'll preach that thing. I'll get power! I'll preach that thing. I'll 
I love preaching. The power. I preach that thing. Power of the resurrection. But, 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 but it's this fellowship of the suffering. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We don't preach about the fellowship of the suffering. But we're talking about the power. I preach that thing. I work that text. But that fellowship of the suffering. Not that I, there it is again, not that I already attain or am already perfect, perfected, but I, there it is, but I press on that I may lay hold of what, of, hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, there it is, I, I, I. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, we shift. Therefore, let us. Somebody say, let us. Therefore, let us as many are mature. It's a call to maturity. It's a call for the free Methodist church to grow up. It's leaking out. Therefore, let us, many as mature, have this mind, have this thought. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal, there's a revelation, God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, let us, let us, somebody say let us, let us walk by the same rule, let us be of the same mind. Push me, Holy Ghost. Paul said, let us. So I've been instructed for us to pray together, and I would like all the superintendents to come up front. We're going to build all the superintendents. You're from the, around the world, all the superintendents. I want you up here right now. If you are, uh, you're going to be very, you have to be very sensitive to the Holy Spirit. If you're an area director, if you are a BOA chair, you can come. But if the Holy Spirit is telling you to come, we're going to pray. That's my assignment. We're going to pray. Every superintendent from around the world, come. We're going to build an altar. I would like all our bishops locally, globally, former bishops, beers from Emerit- uh, Emeriti, I want you to join me on this platform. We've got some work to do. We're all going to pray for one another that our faith would stand in the power of God. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. That's what we're going to do. Bishops from around the world, all the bishops, all the bishops, all the bishops, all the bishops. bishops. And you're going to stretch your hands toward one another. Those who are out there, if you need to sit, stand, but we're going to pray today. 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 And to, and, to, and to all our bishops, come on. All our former bishops, come on. Bishop Antioch, come on. Global bishops, come on. We're one church. We're one church. We're one church. Come on, come on, come on. All the bishops, come on, come on. I ain't got much time. They got a clock on me. Let's go, let's go. And first thing I want to do, first thing I want to do, come on, all the bishops, some of y'all, where are all these bishops at? I know we got more. Oh, they're coming, come on. And the first thing I want to do, personally, personally, I've done it, but I, I, I want to say it to personally, 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 I've been liaison to these bishops, submitted to these bishops. Yes. Yeah. And and personally, personally, bishops, I had to repent to you. Back then when I was talking about racism, God said, Kenny, 
you will submit to these bishops. And, they, and the stories that I've heard, how people talked about you, even said you're going to hell. You are God's bishop and God told me, Kenny, repent. In front of them, repent, repent. And I'm gonna do it publicly, publicly, publicly for the pain that you went through. You are God's bishops. I, I never forget, you know, and now we are best friends. We laughed together. Come on, been in your house, stayed in your house, took the jewelry out of your house. Or something. <laughs> laughed together. These are God's bishops, and some of you are going to have to repent. Go back and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I talked about you behind your back. I'm sorry. You're going to have to repent. You're going to have to repent. So bishops, would you stretch your hands toward the people? Superintendents, would you, would, would, would you stretch your hands toward the bishop? Family, would y'all stand in? And we're going we're gonna to have a sandwich. <laughs> and pray, church. Pray in your language. Pray whatever language, uh, Spanish, whatever it is, pray. Pray. Pray, church. Pray. You want to ignite it? Pray! Pray! Speak a blessing. Speak a blessing. God bless those, bless the superintendents. God just bless them, 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 God. Bless the body, God. Bless the body. Pray for the body of Christ, not just the free Methodist church, not just the free Methodist way, but pray for the body to come together. Pray, church. Pray like you never prayed before. Pray for the fire. Pray for the, pray, church. Pray, God. This is my assignment. This is our assignment. Pray for the move of the Holy Spirit among us. Seek my face. Go into the secret place. Go to that never ending perpetual place. Take us to the secret place. Take us to that spacious place. Take us God, take us God, take us God. You call us to touch nations. We got to go into the secret place. The secret place. That special place. The place we love to come. May we come together today. Let us go into that place, to the throne room of God, together. Together, God, we got to do it together. We got to do it together. Forgive me, God. Forgive me where I talked about him. Forgive me, God. Forgive me where I treated my superintendent. Forgive me, God. Forgive me how I... Forgive me my actions in the boardroom. Forgive me, God. Forgive me, God. Forgive me, God. Forgive me. I got to go and say, ask for forgiveness, God. I got to ask for forgiveness, God. I got to go. I got to go. I got to get up from the altar and say, I'm sorry. I got to get up from this altar and say, God, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry when I treated you. I'm sorry when I did behind my back, behind your back. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're sorry, God. We're sorry. I'm sorry. God, I gotta ask for forgiveness. I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong, God. I was wrong, God. The way I treated the bishop, I was wrong, God. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong, God. They're your bishops. <laughs> They're your bishops, God. They're your bishops. But now look at them. They stretching their hands. Talked about them, but yet I stretch and speak a blessing over them. I speak a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord bless you and keep you.
Oh, God. Bless the church, God. We want a new thing. We want a new way. We want to walk in it. We want to walk in the fire, God. We want to see all these lost people come to Jesus. We want to see communities transformed. Bring the body of Christ together, God, around the world. God, hear our cry. Hear our cry, God. Here I cry to multiply. Here I cry, God. We can't keep doing what we've been doing, God. It's got to be a fresh wind, a fresh anointing. God, pour it out. Send angels, God. Fire, God. Fire, God. Fire, shut up in my bones. Fire, God. Fire, God. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire. Fire, God. Fire, God. Oh, didn't our hearts burn with it in us? Didn't our heart burn with it in us? As we journey on the word, didn't our heart burn as he spoke to us on the road? When we leave this place, in the airports, in our church, in our community, may we see the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. I want the fire, God. Not to be seen by men, but to be seen by you. We want the fire to go all through all our hundred countries, all the countries that you sent us, new countries that are coming, because they heard about the fire. We heard about the multiplication. We heard about the anointing. What's going on over there? What's going on over there in that free Methodist movement? What is this about? What is this about? We honor every bishop, every nation, Every bishop, there ain't one bishop better than the other bishop. There ain't no one but bishop more important to another bishop. We ain't better than you. We respect all our bishops, every last one of them. Every last one of them ain't one better than the other. They bishops. They're God's bishops. They're not less. They're the same. We're one. Yeah, it's leaking. Yeah. It's leaking. Let it leak. Yeah, let it leak. Let it leak. Yeah. Be you, and God will use you. Yeah. 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 I hear God says, there's more. I hear God say, there's more. If you come into the secret place, I got more. I got more. And with that, I yield to Bishop Man. Maybe we should worship a song. Maybe we should just sit. Maybe we just say, God, what do you want to do now? I know what the program is. If you have a song, Dennis can play it. Right now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And I believe, I believe you, Father, and I receive every single promise. Here I stand on the word you spoken, and I believe, I believe you, God. And everybody say, everybody say, I believe, I believe you, Father, and I receive, and I receive every single promise, every single promise. Here I stand, here I stand on the word, 
on the words you spoken and I believe and I believe I believe you God <laughs> I believe you God now sing it like you got some soul here we go everybody say I believe I believe you father and I receive every single promise every single promise here I stand here I stand on the word on the word you spoke it and I believe I believe you God the anointing of the Holy Ghost the anointing the anointing God the anointing Father the anointing of your mantle on the Free Methodist Church. The anointing now, God. Let it rest on every soul now. In the name of Jesus, like in the book of Acts, God, as we prayed in every language, God. God, I pray for the manifestation, demonstration of your spirit to rest on every soul. And we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Can we just say thank you? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. Come on, come on. 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 Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. I love you. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. It was Bishop Snyder. I was talking about racism back then, and and he was the first one because they told me that. Kenny, you can't touch the nations. You call to the urban community. Stay with your people. And Bishop Snyder was on a plane. He's the first one that took me to the United Kingdom. And on the plane, he said, Kenny, you don't think I'm racist, do you? I said, of course not. That's right, you remember that? <laughs> on the plane. But he really was setting me up because he was going over there to England, uh, United Kingdom, and he was in trouble, and I had to be his bodyguard. <laughs> he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me it was a bunch of mess. Somebody say amen. I said, dang, man, he set me up. <laughs> We're dear friends. Yeah. Praise God. And this is real, y'all. Yeah. Praise God. Right? This is real. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is real right here. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for introducing me to the global world. Thank you. Thank you. You see him right with us now. I forgot. Yes. Hello? Hello? God's going to do through you. Yes. No? Ah, there we go. What a holy moment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Where did Bishop Kinney go? Oh, here he is. Okay. Uh, aren't we thankful for the faithfulness of our servant, our brother, our bishop? Amen. We, we needed this. We needed this. And it's a holy cleansing 
And we're so grateful, we're so thankful that the Lord speaks to us and he directs us and helps us to know what to do to take that next right step. And Bishop, you, you were so sensitive to the Spirit and we're so grateful. Let's commit to live in this reality of what God has done in this session and not go back. We want to support and encourage this incredible team of leaders in front of us. Superintendents, area directors, godly men and women who are leading our church, board of administration members. We are so grateful for you and the leadership that God has provided. Pray for them. Encourage them. Let them know you're behind them. And then for this new board of bishops that God has brought together by his providence, please, I plead with you, please, Pray for them. Let them know that you're behind them. This is a new beginning and a fresh start, and we give God praise for that. Let's give the Lord our praise and glory. Just a few things you need to know about before we dismiss today. There's the Women's Clergy Luncheon at 11.30 in Florida 5. And uh, some of you clergy women, if you didn't register for the lunch, but you want to get food elsewhere and bring it in, there's room for you. So 11.30 in Florida 5, the Women's Clergy Luncheon. Focus groups are at 10, as you know. And I want to make a special invitation for some of you who may not have been coming to the plenary sessions at 1 o'clock. Bishop Kay is going to be preaching at the start of the plenary session. So come on back. You'll want to hear what God says through Bishop Kay in the start of the plenary session. And then in the service tonight, Bishop Keith will be preaching We'll be consecrating our new bishops, and we'll be sharing the Lord's Supper together. So let's run through the tape. This is a great day. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for your faithfulness. We, we are humbled at the way you speak to us and you lead. And God, we've heard from you today. We would pray, Lord Jesus, that that we wouldn't go back, but we would go forward with arms locked around one another, prayerfully encouraging, lifting up, loving one another. And we thank you, God, that, uh, that you have a plan and a purpose for the Free Methodist Church. We have an amazing history, but God, our history ahead is in your hands. And we commit to be faithful, not only with the legacy of the past, but with the multitudes and multitudes around the world and here in the U.S. that don't know you, that haven't heard the gospel of Jesus Christ or in some way have been distanced from your church and from you. God, we want to be faithful witnesses. Pour out your spirit on us. Pour out your spirit. And we'll be careful, God, to thank you and praise you, give you all the glory. It all belongs to you, Lord Jesus. We love you, and we pray this together in your precious holy name. Amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Thank you.